first um that said this is a really interesting story behind this application actually and this is kind of i i have a lot more respect um i've always had respect for kim.com but even more so with this little story uh, this was actually an unofficial app uh, before kim.com actually recently acquired it now that said um I actually tweeted out to him yesterday before he made this official. Uh, hey, man, you know, any any chance on uh, releasing an Android app uh, for Mega anytime soon? Um, he didn't respond. I didn't expect him to. And then today, uh, the news hit, and it's all over all the tech sites that um, Kim actually finally released the Android app. Uh, although it was unofficial at the time, it is now official, and there's a number of bug fixes. So we now have a stable working version of um, an official mega uh, app for your Android device. So really cool stuff here. Let's go ahead and take you on a little tour. Um, so I wish there, I'm, I'm sure there's gonna be some more features added in the future, but for now, as far as uh, menu settings are concerned or settings are concerned, um, we do only have camera sync and the option to log out. Um, I hope that they add upon that in the near future. Um, I wouldn't be surprised if they do. Uh, down here at the bottom, you've got very, very simplistic UI and I'm absolutely in love with that. You got the option to upload any amounts of, um, or any types of files. I go ahead and click the little refresh button there. So if you've added any um, files and you wanna update the list, you've got the option. You can go ahead and create a folder from within the application itself, really cool. Uh, you can do the little link thingy there, um, back out of there. You've also got this little dashboard here, which will give you um, a readout of you know uh, how much storage your account actually has. Now, if you haven't already, I definitely strongly recommend you sign up for um, mega.co.uk gives you 50 gigs of free storage right off the bat. Um, for those of you that are unfamiliar or probably wondering why would I switch from Dropbox as an example to Mega, uh, the thing is is that a lot of those storage um, services out there, if any government agencies or say for instance companies um, wanted to to present them with you know oh let me you know take a look at take a little peek at what this guy uh, has in his in his cloud storage, uh, this has such a high level of encryption that not even Kim.com or any but of uh, any of his affiliates can see what your files are. Um, so this is the utmost amount of cloud storage, privacy, security, protection, encryption that you can get out there. Really impressive. Um, I don't have any files on my mega account as of yet. That's just because I was waiting for the Android application to uh, hit the Play Store, the official Android app to hit the Play Store. Um, and now I'm going to start migrating all of my cloud storage files over to mega. Uh, let's go ahead and take a look at what we get when we upgrade to Pro. So you've got three different options here. Pro 1 gives you a massive 50 gigs of storage storage and one terabyte of bandwidth with some different pricing options down there at the bottom. Let's go ahead and check out Pro 2, which gives you even more uh, storage at two terabytes of storage with four terabytes of bandwidth uh, and go to the last one and the biggest one and the best one, which is four terabytes of storage with eight terabytes of bandwidth. That is, I mean, that's, that's incredible. That is absolutely incredible. Great application has had some wicked. This is Google Drive. It's safe online storage that comes with 15 gigabytes for free. That's space for a thousand photos, hours of video, and just about any other file you want to keep safe. Plus, every file you put in Drive becomes available on your other devices, so you can access them anywhere. That's Google Drive. Download to get started or learn more at google.com slash drive. The app is free and new users get 50 gigabytes of storage also for free. The interface is very simple and doesn't seem to have many features, but it, it is nice when doing simple tasks like uploading, streaming, and downloading photos, videos, and other files. Sharing and uploading files from this app is very simple and pretty quick depending on your upload speeds. Streaming is also great on this app. The video I uploaded in 1080p still kept its quality and loaded pretty quickly. One bugger problem that I faced was that the uploaded photo took a long time to be viewed or just didn't load up at all and I had to uh, download it to actually see the photo. Another downside that I found was that this app doesn't integrate with the native camera and gallery apps, making it a little uncomfortable when uploading photos and videos. But this app came out today, so let's give it a break. 
Mediafire's app for Android is a pretty solid app in terms of cloud storage and it is a big competitor to Google Drive and Dropbox because of Mediafire's popularity. If you want more tech reviews and news, please subscribe to Tech Reviews U. This was Hoyong Wan and thanks for watching. Dropbox is the place for all your stuff. Your vacation photos, studio recordings, research proposals, even the video from that time you finished third in a hot dog eating contest. It's a website and an app for your computer, phone, or tablet. When your stuff lives here, it's on all your devices, and you can take it with you wherever you go. It's easy to send files of any size to anyone, your aunt, your client, your boss, your buddy, even if they don't have a Dropbox account. It's a simple way to work together on the same files too, without sending emails back and forth. You can get feedback from your editor, share CAD files for that new building project, or work on budget planning, and keep everyone in the loop along the way. Dropbox brings your files together in one safe place. So even if your phone takes a swim, or your tablet takes a hike, your photos, flyers, and footage are safe and sound. When your stuff lives in Dropbox, there's a little more time for all the things you love to do. OneDrive is Microsoft's answer to the Dropboxes and Google Drives of the world, a mostly ubiquitous and cloud-based solution for storing files of all kinds for easy access. The Android client is attractive and effective with the recent iterations pulling heavily from Android's material design to keep its UI in line with the rest of the platform. The app ties in with either a personal or business OneDrive account, allowing for up to one of each to be running side by side. All of the features you'd expect are accounted for, from browsing and organizing files to managing shared documents and auto-uploading any captured photos and videos. Some more surprising features include support for Google's Cast platform, passcode protection for the app, and a photo viewer that is much better suited for media than a standard file browser. Microsoft has even recently added in the ability to pin documents offline for when you're out of signal or for files you use often to preserve precious data. Microsoft has been giving 15 gigabytes of free storage for new accounts, but will soon be dropping it to five gigabytes. Overall, the app is well-rounded and offers an easy to manage base for many of Microsoft's other apps.